My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. I'm on my way down to do a makeup trial this morning. I've got a bride, my, my second bride of the summer. It's not very impressive, is it? It's normally about 70 to 80 brides, but this year it's two. Anyhow, I've got a bride and um, we've just found out that the road here in between Positano and Praiana is closed due to the fire the other day. Apparently they've put up an absolute cement block so you can't get past at all. And uh, that has pretty much put a stop to our plans this morning. We were gonna take a scooter ride to Ravello and have lunch and have a walk around the gardens of the Villa Cimbrone, but there is absolutely no way we can get there now. Uh, so we're not gonna do that anymore. And we're trying to think of a new plan. As usual, I'm about 15 minutes early for my appointment, so I'm just sitting outside the room, literally right outside the room, because, because the bride is in the shower and uh, she's not ready, but they said I could come up, so I'm just waiting here. Very rare occasion, all of the family here together. Carlo, Carlo, Tommaso, who is Carlo's son, if you didn't know, Sky, who is me and Carlo's son, no, daughter, and Honeypool. just stopped on the side of the road and there you can see Vesuvius and the Bay of Naples and we are in the middle of the peninsula which is this bit and there you can see the end of Positano and Praiano in the distance. Now we have a problem. <laughs> we have a bit of a problem. Carla was just closing the helmets in the um, the box that goes behind the scooter, and the key snapped. And it is the same key for the ignition as for the storage box in the, in the back of the scooter. So now we are literally stranded here. We are down the very, very dead end of a little road up in the middle of a pine forest, nowhere near anything. <laughs> and now we can't move from here. Okay, we have a plan. Sky and I are gonna go to the Maracocola Resort. We're gonna sit by the pool and relax and just have a nice time. These two are going to go back on Tomasa's scooter and try and hunt for a spare key so at least we can drive the scooter back again later. We're just going to walk down here and find somewhere lovely to sit. It's absolutely beautiful down here. We have come here before in a couple of videos, but it was probably, God, last time was probably about three years ago. So it's been a while, but it's always beautiful. It's very open and lots of grass. You don't see grass in Positano very often. Where are we, Holly? Oh 
Have you, have you been here before? No. Haven't you? No, I haven't ever. Oh, I thought you came last time. No. So you can get a bit of a bearing. There are the galley islands, which don't look anything like that from Positano. In Positano, they seem like one island, and here you can see that it's three separate islets. I think we made a good choice to wait here rather than go all the way back to Positano and back again. <laughs> we have been given a table and some chairs and they're bringing us some water so we're just going to sit and relax with this beautiful view and just have some quiet time because it's so quiet and peaceful here. Is that Daddy? Is that Daddy? Is that Daddy? After lunch, what does everybody want to do? Have a nice nap. They're making up a couple of beds and they're going to fall asleep. While they're all sleeping, I'm going to go down and explore because I know that there's a vegetable patch down here somewhere and I can see some very interesting looking tomatoes. <laughs> Look at these, fantastic. So many. And here are the datarini, the ones that we had with one of the salads today at lunch. They go all the way along there. Going tomatoes as far as the eye can see. I have found an apple tree. So the Maracocola Resort is um, pretty much in between Colli di San Pietro and Sant'Agata, which is about 25 minutes drive from Positano, it's not far at all, and it is a beautiful day out. It's a beautiful place to come for lunch. All the food, all the vegetables, they grow themselves, and they're very friendly, and you're allowed to just wander around the grounds after you've had your lunch, which is what we've done. We've had a lovely day. Now it's time to go home. There have been some changes in the garden. Luca was here a couple of days ago and I was out all day and he dared to make changes without me, without telling me what he was doing. So he's planted a lot of the winter veg now, so I'm going to show you what has changed. Here in the top garden, there is the first couple of rows of broccoli that have gone in down there. I can't wait. I do miss broccoli in the summer. The greenhouse is still 
full of tomato plants that are starting to wither up a bit now. There's a few more tomatoes left though. The cucumbers have withered up and pretty much gone to seed and there was just a little bit too many cucumbers for us to pick. So the chickens are having an absolute field day because they love them. And as usual at the end of the summer we have tons and tons of eggplants. That's fine, I'll probably make something with them for dinner tonight. Now around the other side of the greenhouse there is still a lot of tomatoes to pick. So the canning has by no means finished yet. Back down in our garden, we have a pool creature. Hello, pool creature. He's ignoring me. Okay, so he won't disturb you then. Hello, little ones. How are you? You want something yummy? I'll see what I can find. All the weeding's been done though. I'm sure you had a field day because this is now a fennel plantation. All these baby fennel plants waiting to grow. And then I need to check with Luca, but there's obviously some sort of winter veg going on down here. All the way along, lots of new little seedlings planted. I picked a couple of bunches of these grapes for um, after lunch today, and they're actually really nice. They're just ready to eat. Oh, it's the matter, kitty. Right, this is a rather withered bunch of grapes there. I wonder if chickens like grapes. I'm sure they do. Want these? They seem to like them. And one more thing I wanted to show you. If you remember back in, I think it was April or May, we bought a little black basil plant. That has now flourished and it is this huge, beautiful plant here. We placed it by the shower, so every time somebody has a shower before or after the pool, it gets watered and it's absolutely amazing. The leaves smell of licorice. It's a really strong, basilic licorice scent and it works really, really well on tomato salads. I have taken a few days off making videos because I just needed a little break from it and now I'm back and refreshed and raring to go. In the meantime Skye has gone back to England, school has started again and I think she has made a little video for me today because it's Saturday and she's off on a little trip today and I'm about to go and down and see Nicola who's just coming back from one of his boat trips and see how he's doing without her. <laughs> they had a very emotional departure at the airport he came with me to drop her off and there were tears in their eyes and there was lots of hugging and kissing and it was very romantic but let's go and see how he's doing now Nicola. He's just been tidying up his boat and he is now on his way back on land. Come è stata la tua prima settimana senza di Sky? Oh! Lei dice che tu dormi sempre quando lei chiama. Uh, <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Sky and I'm back in boarding and um, today I'm going to Weymouth with some of my friends and mommy doesn't have a video that's long enough for this week so I'm gonna help her out. <laughs> No. We've arrived in Weymouth. Very different atmosphere here than Positano. Apparently people like renting donkeys here. 
Never seen a donkey in the beach. Donkeys everywhere. It seems that they made a Shrek sand sculpture here. That looks pretty cool. So we're in this really cute shop that has really nice stuff. I kind of want to buy something to decorate my room in Italy, but it has to be something small and inexpensive. I love this one. <laughs> These little heads here remind me of some that we have in the little house at home. We are in a clothes shop and I found this skirt that would actually maybe mommy would like it. I'm not sure though. <laughs> They're really cool. And now the candy shop. So I got a little gift for Nicola and I got these bubblegum sweets. I hope he likes them. I also got some cherry ones for us. We just go and get bubble tea and iced coffees. So we got our bubble teas and iced tea and now we're heading to the beach. It's nice and sunny now, so we're lucky. We're not wearing any masks here because we're social distancing, so please I don't want any comments saying that we're not wearing masks because there's no one around. Thanks! So we got a raspberry meringue and now we're going to try it. <laughs> We took loads of pictures and I didn't film because my phone is actually very low batteries on 10% and now we're about to leave. Bye bye Raymond. 